What's up, what's up, guys? We're back at it again with the back at it news. Sheesh. Yeah, sorry for the delay in, in, in the podcasting and shit. Look, I've been depressed. Just like you motherfuckers been depressed. <laughs> if you don't know where you're at, you're here with the Speaking to the Choir podcast, you know, where we just, you know, we preach into the choir. It's, we ain't give a fuck about none of the bullshit. You already know what it is. We Eagles fans. We know what it is, right? So, I'm a little late, but I'm going to give you my initial Super Bowl 52, whatever. I forgot the number. I'm, I'm mad because we lost the game, man. <laughs> I'm going to give you the official Super Bowl initial reaction. All right. So, my initial reaction for the game is Jonathan Gannon's trash. Got to go. You got to get the fuck up out of here fuck up out of here man in the second half we were just out coached out muscled out man whatever out everything it was <laughs> embarrassing to say the least all right i don't know what kind of coverage he decided to play but it wasn't enough it was it was too much zone not enough man and we knew for a fact that if he did that five yard off the ball coverage that I predicted he might do. That we was gonna lose the game. Now look, he didn't have no Patrick Mahomes didn't have no 90% completion percentage, but it felt like it in the second half. So it ain't no difference, okay? Jonathan Gannon need to go. Shane Stike, you called a hell of a game, bro. Hell of a game. You did what you had to do to win. You can leave, go on to whatever team you're going to and be happy. Jonathan Gannon, you a bitch ass nigga. And I hope I can bleep that out later. I ain't gonna do it. I, I don't know how to do it yet. I'm gonna figure it out though. It's like you need to figure out how to do your job. Whew. Man. Another one of my initial reactions is that we got we got kind of holes in this game when it comes to penalties. If you look at the if you look at the game. He had a lot of bad calls go against our way. For instance, the Devontae Smith catch. That was a catch, bro. Get the heck up out of here, man. We make that catch. We get seven points instead of three. And, you know, the game might be different. We at least go into overtime. Yeah, man, this game hurts. I think you already know. No hurts, puns intended. But this game hurts in a different way. Jalen Hurts balled out, man balled out that is our franchise quarterback that is you can't say nothing if ands buts about it whatever that is the second coming of russell wilson but with faster legs and this this man he 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 literally had a superman cape on that day and his team just let him down that defense was his kryptonite and it's sad because that defense was supposed to have been the top defense I've ever seen in my life, and we just didn't show up. Now, you could say that the field played a part of the game, and I think it played a major part of the game. If you look at the game, you see Hassan Reddick, you see uh, Josh Sweat on the floor half the game because they keep slipping and sliding. They can't get into their moves. And realistically, they, they're they not bush, uh, bull rush pass rushers. They're, they're pass rushers that need to use their moves they use that use their speed to get around the edge and they just weren't able to do so so they lost the game they lost their footing they lost they lost us the game to be honest to be honest i've never i never thought a sign reddick would not show up at all in the super bowl but he just didn't show up at all there's no tackles for loss no sacks no sack fumbles nothing wiley you played a hell of a game shout out to you man it's just tough loss I don't know when we're going to get back. We're going to make it back to the Super Bowl. It's very difficult to make it to the Super Bowl. <sighs> this hurts, man. This hurts something serious, something ridiculous, something I never thought I'd really feel. I know those players in that, in that game that participated in that game, I know they feel 10 times worse, and I feel so bad for them and their families. Jason Kelsey's wife that came there was there pregnant. She didn't deserve that. She deserved a W. Her husband deserved to leave a champion. 
And I don't know if, if Jason Kelsey is going to play another game, but, man, I hope so. I hope you don't end like that, man. I really do. That's all I got to say right now. I'm sure I got more to say later. It's just the initial reaction. We're going to hop back on later. We're going to talk about the Jonathan Gannon, Shane Steichen hiring. If you don't know, Shane Steichen is getting hired to the Indianapolis Colts. And Jonathan Gannon is getting hired to the Arizona Cardinals. Thank God he out of here. We're going to break down uh, their contract situation and the players that we think are going to come back next year. And we might even jump into some draft discussion on the next episode of the Preaching to the Birds podcast. But for now, guys, um, I wish you guys well. I wish your families well. I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm sad as shit. I ain't gonna lie, I'm sad as shit. I don't even want to come here, but, you know, fuck it. We got a job to do. I got a job to do. And provide y'all with content is what I will do. All right. Peace out, guys.